Hey everybody, Graham here. Today I'm going to show you how to make moving lens flares in After Effects. So if we take a look at my intro, I got the lens flares coming off the screen, tracing my name, coming in, getting real bright, and then getting just going away. I'm going to show you how to do that in After Effects. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to Composition, New comp. Okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is go to layer, new, solid. Um, choose your background for the solid. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add some text to create the lens flare going around the um, letter. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. There we go. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Okay. Okay, now that we have the Adjustment Layer up, you want to add the Lens Flare. Just go to Effect. Um, you, I would go to Video Copilot, Optical Flares, but a lot of people don't have that. So you can always go to Generate and use the Lens Flares that came with After Effects. Okay, so you can, you can choose from three different ones. Um, this one, this one, and this one. You can't really see it, but you can see the main part. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Make it a little brighter. Alright. Okay, so another thing about the adjustment layer, that's where we're going to be applying all our keyframes in Keyframes basically record the position of where the lens flare is. So if the lens flare was over here, it was keyframed, then you move it a little forward, keyframe it again, it's going to record where it was, and then it's going to put it where it should be. It'll create the movement. Alright, so you can do it from up here, but I'm going to keyframe it from over here. So click this arrow, effects, lens flare. Alright, now before you keyframe, Take the lens flare and adjust it where you want it, whether it's off screen or on. Put it to where you want it to start. Okay, so I'm going to have mine start right there. Go over to Flare Center, click the stopwatch, just keyframed. Now move it a little forward. Take the lens flare, move it where you want it to go. Keyframe. Alright, now look at it. It's moving. Now if you want to adjust time-wise, just grab the keyframe and stretch it out. So now it's going to take longer for it to stretch. Okay, now that we got that down, I'm going to show you how to make it get really bright and then just fade away. So now that I have it keyframed, I'm going to keyframe it again move it a little forward. I'm going to have it go to the middle. Alright. Now, be very important when you're doing this, make sure you do not make it super bright before you keyframe. You need to keyframe the way it looks now. So move a little forward, click the stopwatch on flare brightness. Okay, now move a little forward again. Now, go to this percent, hold down, left click, and drag over until it gets, uh, consumes the whole screen if you want it to. Okay, now move it forward a little bit more again, and then just zero, keyframed. Okay, now if we look at it, there it goes, comes in, gets really bright, and goes away. Now time-wise, you can always just stretch them out. Don't, like, bring the second keyframe over the third. Always keep them in order. So you can stretch them out time-wise if you think it's too short, think it's too long. Just drag them over, spread them out a little bit, and bam, you're good. Alright, so now that we got that, I'm going to show you how to make lens flares move in gaming footage. It's basically the same concept, but I'm going to show you anyway. Alright, so let's make a new comp. Okay. Project. I'm going to drag some gaming footage in here. I'm actually going to drag my zombie gaming footage that I uploaded a little while ago. Alright, so we're going to drag this down here. Okay, I'm not going to need all this. So I'm going to shorten it up. 
I need about maybe like 30 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over. Okay. All right. Now, go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Now I adjust this too. Remember with the adjustment layer, if you don't want, say this is your video right here, your whole video. If you don't want it showing up in the beginning, then just adjust your layer. Make your layer start wherever the lens flare starts, if that's where you want it to be. I'm just going to have mine at the beginning. Okay, so now make sure you have your adjustment layer selected. Go to effect. This time I'm going to use video copilot optical flares. Okay, I'm going to go to options. I'm going to pick, pick a better one. Okay. I do highly it's recommend really cool. this if you don't have it. And you get all kinds of stuff. Okay, so. Get all this selection. What I think looks cool. Um. I just think it looks like tactical light. Perfect. Alright, make it a little more shinier. Alright, okay. Alright, so say I wanted to start right here. I'm not going to go into detail. So, I actually don't want it to start right there. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it start off screen. Let's for say. Kind of like this. We're going to keyframe it. Move it forward. Say I wanted to go across screen like that. Back out. It'll keyframe. So, here you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, check me out on Twitter. I just made one. Haven't made a Facebook yet. I'll work on that later. I'm subscribed to my channel. I make tutorials. I do all kinds of gaming stuff. And I hope to do more Adobe After Effects tutorials as I keep going. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.